Hello everyone, Kami here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I will be talking to you guys about what I spent for the week and that is my weekly check-in. This is gonna be the first time that I'm filming right after work. I showered, I feel alright, but I'm so tired. So if I'm slightly off, it's because I'm probably really tired. I've been working for 3 days straight for 10 hours for the first time and my feet are killing me and I'm just so exhausted. But I am... I'm enjoying it, it's pretty good, except the fact that it takes up most of my day. I haven't done any Etsy related stuff, like I'm trying to put out orders as they come, but I haven't done anything new, nor have I done my November kit, I need to work on that this weekend. I also, I know I have a, cu a couple of custom orders that a lot of people ordered. I'm so sorry guys, I still can't get to them but I will message you guys later and let you guys know that I probably haven't gotten around to it yet. I've been just so busy and so exhausted trying to adjust. I'm just ranting right now and I'm just letting you guys know how my week has been. It's been tiring and fun as well. Now I'll let you guys know what's my spending, what all that good stuff is, and thank you for the compliments on my new video setup that it's a lot more brighter and better quality so I'm so so happy to hear that. And I am prepared this time. I have my cash envelopes right here, I have my index card right there, and then I have my budget expense stickers right here as well as my no spend stickers over here on my bills. We're ready to go. I did have a kind of expensive week if I could say so myself because I had a birthday weekend for my friend and my boyfriend and then his actual birthday was Monday so you guys can imagine that I didn't splurge splurge for right now we're gonna start on the 13th actually let's start on the bills which was on the 12th my phone is due that day and that was all of my spending that day which is good so I paid my phone And that was for, I forgot, it was $66 this time. Usually it's only $65. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. So I'm actually enjoying talking about work. It's because I don't really have <laughs> friends to talk to. I have my boyfriend, but he pretty much knows how I feel. I'm just really tired and kind of my creative juice is out the window right now, which is sad, but I'm prioritizing trying to save up at the moment and trying to get ready for our move out in january we're renovating um my boyfriend's parents's garage for us to stay at so that's my main focus right now and it's like my end goal for this so on the 13th like i said we went to choice with our friends and it was more of like a peer pressure type of thing because i didn't really want to eat out to begin with but you know, sometimes you gotta give in with the friends, especially, actually two of our friends are leaving this year, going somewhere else. So it's kind of sad because we've been having so much fun. So that is going to be my eating out money, which is my blue budget expense stickers. I do sell this on my shop and this has been a favorite from you guys. So I do sell them for fairly cheap. So I have my blue pastel right here for my eating out. We went to the Korean restaurant and I spent... How much did I spend? I spent $20. And I did not tip. My boyfriend tipped the waitress. Because he usually does that. When I do spend money on like something big like this. Because he knows my eating out money is only $20. So that was on a Friday. I was supposed to work that day, but they actually said we don't have to work this day. I don't know why, but I mean, I'll take it, I guess. The same day, we um, ordered a birthday gift for Jacob. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, like my personal one, you guys wouldn't know who Jacob is, but I usually hang out with them and some of our friends. We got him a gift and I got that for my sinking funds, I believe. Yep for my sinking funds which is my gifts i do have a lot of birthdays this month as well as the next and january i have a lot of birthdays those months so i'm gonna put jacob right here we all chipped in money to buy him a gaming chair for his birthday because he he has a small like setup at his house and his gaming chair is so old and so screechy 
we decided to get him a gaming chair. It was a hundred and thirty, but we all chipped in twenty dollars each to buy him that gift. I think it was a pretty good gift. He liked it, but it didn't come that day, of course, because like it was like two day shipping, which kind of ended up on his birthday, which is good. My next spending day was the fourteenth. That was when we had our party we did the um, hot wings challenge if you guys are not familiar it's basically like stages there's 10 wing flavor but we did the last four the most spiciest of the four um and i won the challenge i didn't win anything but out of all the guys that i hang out with i was the only one who just didn't really didn't cry basically because a lot of them cried then some of them vomited but I just sat on my chair and ate my rice. I did get up at one point just to kind of eat, eat some sugar. That was it. It is spicy though. So that one, we bought a cake. I ordered a cake for my boyfriend and I got that out from the rest of his um, sinking fund money because he has his own separate cash envelope and there was $25 left in there. And I used that for the cake. And I got it from his favorite bakery. I always do that every year. Except last year. I think I missed last year. But I always get him that cake. And he really likes it because it's like really good texture. It's just really, really nice cake. I love it too. So I got to eat that. And then we went to the grocery store to buy, you know, some necessities. We bought chicken for the hot wings. We bought some fruit, some drinks. Some, you know, orange juice for the for the alcoholic drinks or whatever else we needed. So um, I gave $20 for that because we all had to put in money. So I spent that from my allowance. So I'm just going to put party. And then I'll put $20. And that also includes the pizza that we had. It's basically just $20 for the food from everyone. So we do like to chip in even though it is the party is at our house we try not to like take in all of the um you know financial responsibility because they all know we're not rich so we have to have help for that because we can't be having parties without them contributing anything and that goes the same for us but we usually have the parties here okay last spending day is on the sunday which is just for my groceries i of course wanted to do some groceries on sundays which we've been consistent of like doing that on sundays because of work i think it works out pretty well because on that same day we meal, meal prep for our lunch for work so on that 15th we went to walmart of course uh, where's my pink one there we go my pink is my groceries and this compliment card just helps me out with that. So I'm gonna put Walmart for $43 is what I spent. Just because I had um, bread and stuff for my lunch for work because I don't really don't wanna buy food from there. It's just not, not worth it. So I'd rather just spend the money for my grocery sinking funds and buy a lot like their Coke at the vending machine is $1.50. I bought a 12 pack of Coke for $3, which is pretty good. And that was it. That was all my spendings. It's quite a lot, honestly. A lot more than usual, but I did have fun and I made memories with my friends. I just sound exhausted. I, I know you guys can tell. And then I'm gonna put a no spend right here. And then my last no spend sticker goes to today because all these three days I've been working and haven't really spent any money which is great um, now we're gonna move in into our check-in page now this gets to be a little bit confusing but I did do a cash stuffing video so we're gonna add 50 to our groceries because as you can see it should be zero here because we always roll over the money so this will be zero and then I'll add 20 for my allowance. Not that it matters because I spent that. It's gonna be the same with my eating out, no household, and no unbudgeted. Thank goodness. So I had my sinking funds to help me out with the gifts that I needed to get, the cake. So that was really good. And now 
we're gonna see our spending. So for groceries, I just did that, so I remember that it was $43 we spent. So I'm gonna put, I like to write in pencil on this page just because we always erase stuff. So I spent $43, and that means I should have $7 left in my, in my envelope. I cannot talk today, guys. So I have my budget tracker. It says I have $7 left. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars. And we're actually going to roll that over. Roll over should be seven. And this should be zero. And I put this on my savings. And I do update that on my savings page. Just so you guys know. Minus seven. Today is, I don't even know what today is. Today is the 18th. And then roll over. And I should be getting paid tomorrow. But it's going to be a small paycheck because I missed a lot of days of work last week. I'm going to put that in my roll over cash envelope later. And I will update my savings log right here. So I'm gonna put 9, 18. I put seven dollars there. Roll over grocery. And that was 39 plus seven. Should have 46 in savings this month. Which is not bad, but also not very good. It's alright, but most of it is from my savings from my groceries that I've been rolling over when I have extra. So I'm going to put this back in my cash envelope. And the rest should be pretty easy because you guys know I spent it. So my allowance, even though I my last one was 29 plus 20 is 49. I did spend $20 from the party expenses. So it should be $29 again. It should be. We'll see. Sometimes I, I'm losing like a dollar or something. So we have 20, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9 dollars. Did have a lot of money in here, but I did use it a lot with work stuff. Like I needed to get a couple of work related things like gym clothes is basically what I'm wearing. And then for eating out, I spent it at the restaurant. So spent twenty dollars and we are still down to zero and then i didn't use my household i shouldn't even have a section for it if i don't use it and then no unbudgeted thank goodness all right guys so that is it i i know i sound tired but i hope you guys still enjoyed it honestly enjoyed this um filming a lot more than usual i know you can't tell but it's just like i'm talking to a friend right after work it's basically what i'm feeling right now so we're good to go and I am excited to get paid tomorrow and do a cash stuffing for the paycheck number three for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next one. Bye!